I am Dana Malcolm. This is your Top Stories Morning Edition for Thursday, January 11th, 2024. Coming up, the news that matters most. At Fortis TCI, we have the tools to help you track your energy usage because we know it's easier to manage what you can monitor. Our free customer portal at www.myftcionline.com is packed with features and signing up is quick and easy through the website. You can view weather temperature trends alongside your daily consumption, receive email alerts when your energy usage reaches a set level, and note important events and activities that impact your energy usage online. You can also compare your energy usage to a previous year or month and download your usage data for further analysis. Remember, your energy usage data is ready when you are. Disturbing, disheartening, and heartbreaking is how Wilkie Arthur, court correspondent, describes the latest sexual assault case he sat in on. A five-year-old girl is the reported victim, brutally molested by a man she called Grandpa. The 65-year-old accused is a Haitian with a TCI passport, his identity withheld only to protect the child. Details are graphic and may not be suitable for younger audiences. The old man, reportedly on January 3, 2024, inserted his fingers into the young girl's genitals, causing immediate bleeding. The kindergarten-aged child reported the matter to her older sister, who bravely alerted adults, and the accused was arrested. The case has progressed quickly, and the prosecution is fighting to keep the man on remand, as they fear he could interfere with the young victims if released. Court was adjourned until tomorrow, Friday. While the Turks and Caicos has modern medical facilities and affordable copay rates for health care, true advancement requires cutting-edge technology, top-tier medical professionals, and comprehensive treatment plans, so says businessman Ed Forbes. He's calling now for a review of the health care contract and is asking for the government to hire professional consultants to reassess the current service. <laughs> Ten years' worth of suspicious or unexplained deaths will make up the cases of the soon-to-be-opened coroner's court. TCI Chief Justice Mabel Ajimang said the new court will begin its mandate of ordering investigations this year. The caseload will be heavy as matters date back to 2013. No exact date for opening was disclosed. Magnetic Media is your news leader. There's only one place in Providenciales where you can really feel your duty-free savings, and that's at Sam's Club on Leeward Highway. Duty-free bread basket items on top of Sam's Club already low prices? If you're not shopping at Sam's Club, you're paying too much. An alleged drug pusher, 21-year-old Jafano Handfield of Q-Town, appeared before the court charged with possession of a controlled drug and possession with intent to distribute the same. He was the second drug accused who elected to represent himself during a January 8th sitting. Handfield told the chief magistrate he didn't want legal aid and confirmed he had received the disclosure package from the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions. The chief magistrate reminded him of his non-appearance for a previous trial date in December, of which he provided an explanation of forgetting or mixing up his court date. The case is now set for 10 a.m. on February 6th. His bail was extended to that date. Irregular migration is a serious concern for the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions. Angela Brooks, the acting DPP, spoke on the importance of the matter on January 4th. She said a specialized unit has been reactivated to address the urgent requests for direction in relation to unprecedented increases in illegal migration. She also described a recent case win for the DPP. We are 159 illegal Haitian nationals were brought into the Turks and Caicos Islands on a vessel that was fitted for 30 persons was hurt recently. The defendant was sentenced to eight years in prison. Brooks gave the update during her speech at the 2024 legal year opening ceremony. Police have not yet classified the death of a man who was found unresponsive in his car last weekend, January 5th. On Monday night when they spoke to Magnetic Media, they were still awaiting the results of an autopsy to determine how the man who was found on Airport Road died. Additionally, no updates have been shared on the country's first murder, which occurred on January 3rd. The identity and motive behind the killing remain undisclosed by police. 
And for weather in the Turks and Caicos Islands today, it is going to be partly cloudy with isolated showers possible. That coming from the TCI Met Service. The small craft caution has been removed and it will be partly cloudy with a high at 81 degrees Fahrenheit for tonight. Again, partly cloudy with a low at 75 degrees Fahrenheit. That is it for this edition of the news. Thank you for starting your day with us at Magnetic Media. Top Stories in 5 is a Magnetic Media production and it is free to share.